About 2,600 years ago during the Vedic era, there lived a sage named Sushrutha. Sushrutha lived in the ancient chaste city of Kashi in western India, which is today is better known as Banaras or Varanasi. During those days intellectual people were called sages or Maharishi. One such intellectual person was Sushrutha. Sage Sushrutha acquired his knowledge of medicine from Kasharaj Devo Dasa the king of Kashi and he became a physician. As a physician, he treated soldiers who got injured on the battlefield. Looking at the condition of those soldiers, Sushrutha found his inspiration for surgery. He would fix the broken parts or injury through surgery. In those days, the punishment for any illegitimate crime was to chop off the criminal's nose. Sushrutha invented the rhinoplasty or the nose surgery through which he could reconstruct the broken nose. Sushrutha was also the first cataract surgeon who treated many eye problems. Sushrutha who did his work with love and affection invented a scientific skill like surgery, which was a new concept in those times. Due to those reasons he is also considered as the father of surgery. Along with inventing surgery, he realized that he will need several surgical instruments. Keeping this necessity in mind Sushrutha invented 121 surgical instruments, and he was the first surgeon in the world to do this. These inventions prove that sage Sushrutha's knowledge has stood the test of time. Sushrutha has recorded his knowledge in detail in the form of a Sanskrit script, which is also called the Sushrutha Samhitha. This Sanskrit script, which explains the procedure of surgery, is one of the three pillars of Ayurveda as well as a chapter in the Atharvaveda. Sushrutha Samhitha explains that how Sushrutha performed the dissection of a dead body and examined them without a knife. His method of learning human anatomy was like this. He would keep the body in the water and let it decompose and he would study the decomposing body with passing time. This is how he examined the structure of the body layer by layer. This method helped Sushrutha invent complex surgeries like cesarean, abdominal surgery, and brain surgery. Chapter 1.16 of Sushrutha Samhitha explains nose reconstruction surgery or rhinoplasty in detail. Sushrutha is also known for cataract surgery. It's written in great detail in Sushruta Samhita volume, called Uttar Thantra. This process looks like the extraction of extracapsular lens extraction to modern surgeons. But Sushrutha performed this surgery without modern types of equipment which defines his skills. Sushrutha Samhitha was written in 600 BC. This unique Sanskrit script about the surgery and medicine was brought before the world in 800 AD in the form of Arab translation and it was called Kitab Shah Shun al-Hindi, and Kitab e Susurud. In the 29th century, when the world started looking at the Ayurveda from a new perspective, they realized the importance of sage Sushrutha's medical science and his contribution to surgery. Sushrutha Samhitha is believed to be one of the gems of ancient Indian medical literature. One of the manuscripts from the Sushrutha Samhitha written on palm leaves is kept in the Los Angeles County Museum of Arts. Sushrutha gave a new meaning to the art of surgery in medieval India. The year 620 BC is known as the Golden Age of Surgery. In 2018 Royal Australasian College of Surgeons constructed a statue of Sushrutha on their campus.